Hey Eugenia, what's up? It's Dustin. So, uh, yeah, I'm coming at you with another video here. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> this, this video is actually, it's the video that I kept talking about in other videos that I keep wanting to do because I got these cool things and I just kept putting it off <laughs> because I kept doing other videos so yeah so this is the video that I was finally waiting to do so and I think this will be real cool real really cool because I did get a bunch of stuff and it's actually kind of good that I put, kept putting this video off because then that gave me a chance to actually get um, <laughs> you know, more Halloween decorations. I wanted to order some Halloween movie stuff. So, yeah, so, yeah, so that means this video will be a lot cooler because I have more stuff to show you in addition to the other stuff I was gonna show you. So, you can see I'm, for this video I had to wear my Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. So, <laughs> hopefully I can get like another one or two of these shirts. I want to get shirts of some other cool stuff that I really like, but uh, I'd like to get some more Nightmare shirts. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like 70 today, but I'm like wearing shorts. <laughs> so, this is going to be like the last day to wear shorts. Seriously, it's like, it's going to be getting so cold. So, it, here in Southern Oregon, the temperatures go from hot and it, and then they're only the medium 70s temperatures for a little while and some 60s before it just plunges. It always does that. So we have like some 32 degree nights coming where it's going to start freezing already. So it's like shocking. So I'm wearing shorts for the last time. So because I'm going to be wearing all the warm stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So. I want to get started with the uh, first thing I want to show you. And I also do have my Halloween decorations I got to show you that are set up right now. So they look real cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, kind of like a um, October favorites video, I'm going to call it. So um, yeah, um, mixed with Halloween stuff. So I, <laughs> I think I've told you before, I so so love like um, the Hobbit movies the trilogy and the Lord of the Rings movie trilogies and it's like I finally just like broke down and said you know I've had like this I never owned the Hobbit trilogy before until now and then I did own the Lord of the Rings trilogy but it was like a used trilogy I bought it used like way back and 2004 or something like that it was like a used DVD trilogy that I found at like EB games or something I think so you know it's like I want to upgrade bad and it's like I want a, a bigger blu-ray collection because I want because I have a big DVD collection but I want to upgrade it to all blu-ray you know because I want the HD stuff so I had to start with the best stuff to get uh, these blu-ray trilogies so yeah, so I broke down and bought these awesome trilogies, and the first one is the Lord of the Rings trilogy box set. This is just like absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful. Um, gold leaf box set. It's just like amazing. <laughs> so I don't know. This was like 55 or $60 for this set, but these are the extended editions. So it's not enough to just watch the trilogy. I have to get the extended edition because I want like, I want every little scene. And I don't know, there's just some, there's just awesome like extra footage in this. Um, I love the uh, the Lady of uh, Lorien, um, Gal Galadriel, which uh, is played by um, Kate Blanchett. Yeah. <laughs> And there's like tons of extended scenes in that beautiful realm of Lorien. Um, it's like the wood elves, you know, there's huge trees with the staircases that go up. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite parts in the movies, but 
it's stuff like that. There's some amazing extended stuff in um, these extended editions. And they're like, each movie goes from like two and a half hours to like four hours a movie. There's so much extended. So I've only seen the extended editions through once and they were amazing. So now I got it on Blu-ray. So, and uh, I just gotta open this up and show you cause yeah. So when you open it up, it's just amazing. It's got this sweet map here. It's beautiful. The map and everything of uh, Middle Earth and stuff. <laughs> this is like thick. This is like thick board, you know. So, and then when you look inside, there's all three of the movies right there. They look amazing. I mean, look. They're just like all gold and stuff. So, yeah. Let me take one of them out and uh, show you. Yeah, they're just... And then it like closes with the magnetic thing. Yeah, it's like a magnet there, just kind of closes. It. Really high quality. I mean, they just really did a good job with this. So yeah, just gonna show you that this is the Fellowship of the Ring one. This is just like looks really, really nice. So you open it up there. Has extended edition part one. You know, extended edition part two because it's so long. It's like two halves. And then it has all the special features, which is like, you know, the behind the scenes and everything and the appendices. Um, so yeah, it comes with just a ton of content. So I mainly get it for the extended editions because I want an extremely long, amazing fantasy film. But yeah, it's just like, amazing <laughs> so so and then the other two are pretty much the same you know but uh, it just looks amazing so so that's the first one I got and yeah I am so glad I have this now I have a bunch of other awesome uh, blu-ray stuff I, maybe I'll show it in another video I got a ton of Star Wars blu-ray so thanks to my dad <laughs> so um, but uh, yeah, and this one, these are the ones I wanted to show you in this one. So Lord of the Rings, and then the next one is of course The Hobbit. I love The Hobbit. I'd say I love Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit like equally. There's so many people that don't like The Hobbit um, and think Lord of the Rings is like the perfect, you know, end all, be all trilogy. But I think they're both different kinds of stories because the Hobbit trilogy, it came, you know, it came before Lord of the Rings. I mean, Tolkien wrote the Hobbit uh, story, which I've read the Hobbit book. It's pretty good, but the movies are way better. I tried to read Lord of the Rings, but like other other people contended, it's kind of hard to read and not very well written. So the movies, this is one of those instances where the movies like way better than the book. So yeah. <laughs> But, uh, and a lot of people find the Hobbit movies, well, some people find the Hobbit movies, they like them more than Lord of the Rings. So, I love them equally, they're both fantastic. So I had to get the special edition, extended editions of The Hobbit. Let me grab those real quick. So, oh boy. <laughs> so I got the individual special edition Blu-ray extended editions. The box set for the um, the Hobbit trilogy extended edition, it's cool, but it's not as nice as the individual ones in this case. These are really beautiful individual hard cases, whereas it wasn't as good for if I bought the full trilogy in a box. So, so I bought them individually, and they look amazing, as you can see right here. So, this is Unexpected Journey, the first one. And then, of course, The Desolation of Smog. So, that one. And then Battle of the Five Armies. A lot of people didn't like the last one. I thought it was magnificent. I thought the special effects and the visuals and the cinematography were unreal. They were just beautiful. So well done. So, Peter Jackson just does a phenomenal job. I just can't say enough about his movie-making abilities. I wish I could make movies like him. So... So yeah, I'll just show you this one, Battle of the Five Armies. So this is like what the, all the special edition, extended editions look like. 
So they're just like in this really nice hard case. And then, you know, here's the, the Blu-ray here. And uh, yeah, so these are cool. They're black cases. I like the black cases. I don't know, I, I've always been a collector of movies and CD. Not vinyl, but I'm not into records, but movies and CDs, I've always like been so particular about it. Like I have to make sure my my music CDs and my uh, movie discs are like perfectly clean and there's no scratches or smudges. You can't really avoid if there's a little scratch or something, but I don't know. I like I like to like collect stuff like this. So it's like I I like keep things in like perfect quality, like the best quality I possibly can. So I don't know. It's just me. I'm kind of obsessive about that. So so and you open this one up. There's Battle of the Five Armies, so I think this one's like 182 minutes long for the last one. Um, it, the extended editions add about an hour to the movie of the Hobbit trilogy, is what everyone's saying. Well, it does. It says it on the back, so. And it comes with the appendices and behind the scenes as well, so. It only comes with that if you get the extended edition because they're special release ones, so. And it was like, the Hobbit trilogy was like, I think, for all three movies, Extended was like 50, 55 from Best Buy. So, yeah, oh man, just so excited. I can't wait to sit down and watch all of these. It's been a while, and I'm glad it's been a while, because I can't wait to start with the Hobbit trilogy, Extended, and watch all the way through, and then watch all the Lord of the Rings movies all the way through, so. Yeah, I might watch them at my dad's, because he has a huge, you know, big screen TV with like surround sound and everything so I might watch him at his house for the for the uh, first watch because I don't have I can't have surround sound here in an apartment because my neighbors are so close but yeah probably gonna watch them at my dad's place so I cannot wait and I got one more thing from Middle Earth so I love figures I don't have nearly as many figures as you do, Eugenia. But uh, I did, back in 2003, I think, um, for my birthday, I asked for a lot of action figures. So I have original, I have a couple more that I can't find, but I have three of them here, of these Lord of the Rings action figures from back in 03, and they're still in the box. So, and I'm so happy to still have these. This is Aragorn, of course, so this is pretty sweet. He's got his, uh, hopefully you can see it there, yeah. So this is him as Aragorn with his uh, chain mail and sword and everything. So this one is really cool. This is, this is uh, Aragorn before he starts, uh, this is him in the Fellowship, you know, when he's Strider, um, before he starts becoming the king again and fighting to get the you know the realm of uh, gondor back so yeah this is him as strider so i love this because he's in his hood and his cloak and everything so hopefully the reflection there if we can see that okay but uh, yeah, so that's him as Strider. I have that one still on the box. And I got one more. I have, um, uh, I get it mixed up, Sauron. You know, the eye in the top of the tower, Sauron, that's trying to come back. I get mixed up with Saruman and Sauron. Saruman is the, the evil wizard. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean Sauron. I mean the Witch King. You know the Witch King? Um, he flies that huge Nazgul and everything, and at the end, um, I forget what her name is, she battles him, um, and uh, he has that huge mace that he's throwing around. Well, yeah, the Witch King. Yeah, this is the Morgul Lord Witch King, so I thought, you know, this one is really awesome. I kind of want to take one of these out, like this one. Because I think the Witch King with his helmet and his huge mace is just like so badass awesome. So yeah, really happy to have these. And I do have uh, Frodo and Sam that are still in their boxes. I think those are at my dad's house somewhere. But uh, yeah, 
yeah these ones are so awesome so i have these stored here in my closet i might open the witch king one because i freaking love this one i just i love them all but i'd love to have this one out <laughs> so and then i have to move on to some really awesome halloween stuff i just had to order these so yeah i had to uh order two more blu-rays from best buy and i had to get beetlejuice from 1988 and i had to get nightmare before christmas so <laughs> i used to own beetlejuice like back in 1989 or something because i used to watch it like all the time so I'm so happy to find they have this on Blu-ray. So, yeah, and it was pretty inexpensive. So, yeah, I'm just thrilled to finally have this and watch it again because I have like watched Beetlejuice like a million times. I've watched it so much. So, um, yeah, because this came out five years before Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is like uh, one of Tim Burton, Burton's first uh, real spooky, awesome movies. So. So happy to have Beetlejuice. Oh, here's him on the back. Kind of see him there sitting by the tombstone. I know you said you've only seen like the first um, uh, beginning of the movie or something, I think you said, but uh, I highly recommend watching it. It's, it's so good. I just love 80s movies and Tim Burton in the 80s with this, with uh, Michael Keaton is just amazing. Michael Keaton just did fabulous, so. Yeah. So there's just comes with the Beetlejuice disc there. So yeah, nothing fancy, but that's okay because uh, I think there was a special edition, but it was like twenty five dollars. I'm like, no, I think I'll just go with the regular Beetlejuice. You know, it's good enough for me. So so happy to have that. And then, of course, the other one is Nightmare Before Christmas on Blu-ray. So I have never owned this movie before. I saw it back in 93 when I was 12 years old. And I thought it was amazing, you know? But I never bought it, you know? I don't know why. You know, I would rent it here and there and watch it, but I never went out and bought it. So I'm so stoked to finally have Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is probably going to be the first movie I watch. <laughs> since it's Halloween month. So yeah, this one is the sing-along edition. So this comes with the theatrical movie and it comes with um, a sing-along version where the words to the songs are on the screen. So yeah, so the sleeve comes off. And there's Jack and Sally on the hill and there's Zero. And yeah, hopefully you can see that okay with the glare. But uh, I remember in stream the other night you said you had just watched Nightmare Before Christmas a few days before or something. So, yeah, I'm going to be watching this way more now that I own it, finally. I'm just so happy I own it, finally. Yeah, there's the movie. So, I'm not sure if you, uh, I know you don't watch... Um, a ton of movies. I know you've said you're not huge into movies, but I keep wondering if there's like certain ones you collect like on Blu-ray or You know like Disney movies or I know you won't you must own this because you just said you just watched it the other night so yeah, I'm just wondering if you uh, like uh, Have like a small collection going of uh, Blu-rays or or whatnot. So Yeah, I just love collecting movies like special editions and everything and same with CDs like albums. I have like 300 CDs or something. I need to go through it actually and get rid of a few that I don't want but I have a huge CD collection because I love having physical albums. I don't like as much to like buy an mp3. I'd rather buy the full album. That's just kind of how I've always liked to do it. So, <laughs> so yeah. I'm glad my collection can start growing with Blu-ray. And a few more things to show you. I wanted to show you, of course, my Halloween decorations real quick. And I wanted to show you, I got, like I told you in stream, a Headless Horseman snow globe from Sleepy Hollow. And then I got some awesome 
like like Nightmare Before Christmas uh, candle holder cups. They're like little cups, so they're really cool. I thought I'd get some, so then I got all my lights here. So let me show you. That's pretty bright. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the really cool snow globes here first. So. So there is the snow globe. I love this. This is so awesome. This headless horseman snow globe. So shaking it up there. See, look at that. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. I love headless horseman sleepy hollow like so much. So there's my awesome snow globe. And then I got these little candle cup holders. There's Oogie Boogie. And there's Sally, and there's Jack. So, so yeah, really stoked about getting all these. Oh, look at that, that looks cool. <laughs> oh, I just love that. So those are the things that I got, and then behind me I kind of have some Halloween stuff set up. I got my, uh, my fake LED candles and I got my lights going and everything. So here, let me uh, show you that real quick. I love those LED candles. They're just freaking awesome. I just, I need to get more because <laughs> I want to put more other places. So I want to get more decorations like you, Eugenia, because I know you've got tons of pumpkins and even more Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So I'm glad I can start my collection though. So I want to get more and more and more. <laughs> so hopefully maybe at the end of Halloween, they'll have like, you know, sales to get uh, more stuff. So hopefully at the end of Halloween, it's always a good time to try and get stuff on sale. So, all right, let me show you this. So here is my credenza my little candles there so I really like this I thought it came out kind of cool and I got my orange candy corn lights on my banister so yeah I got those last year so I'm really happy about having those lights so <laughs> then over here I just have you know corn husks for fall my mom brought me some little corn husks and a little pumpkin there. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I might have shown you this last year, but I've had these decorations for quite a while. The kitty on the pumpkin, that haunted house. I've had that haunted house since like 19, early 80s. My mom bought that. That thing is so old, 35 or more years old. So. So that is the video, Eugenia. Those are my uh, October favorites. So I hope you liked all the things I showed you. I just am excited about all of it. It's just all so cool. <laughs> so I'm just so happy to finally have all these things. I've been wanting them for so long. So yeah, it just always feels good when you kind of get these new collector's edition stuff. And I just like adding more stuff to my different collections and everything. And I know you do too, because you have some such awesome collect, uh, stuff that you collect and everything. All your Kingdom Hearts stuff, your Kingdom Hearts PS4, and oh my gosh, yeah. Your Keyblades, and all your Nightmare decorations, yeah. <laughs> so I need to catch up to you, Eugenia, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll catch up to you, but you know, I could get close to get close to where you're at with your collections. So, <laughs> oh yeah, and your Cloud Strife on uh, Hardy Daytona bike that is freaking awesome. I just can't. I'd love to have that thing. That is amazing. So, but anyway, happy Halloween, sweetheart. I love you so much. And ah. Ah, there's some kisses. Ah, and yeah, I'm sending you some hugs. So, yeah, hope you're having a good day or night. And my next video will hopefully be of me um, going to the redwoods and the coast because I 
am going there this Friday. I'm going to be going to the Redwoods and Coast. I haven't been out of town for almost seven years. I haven't been able to go very far. So it's a couple hours away. It's just an overnight uh, little trip and I'm going to go with my mom. So I'm hoping to vlog that. So let's Let's hope. I'm going to hopefully vlog the Redwoods and the coast because I'm going to go to Crescent City, California. They're right next to each other, the Redwoods and that. So it's beautiful. Love it. <laughs> I'd love to take you there, Eugenia. It's pretty. I think you'd really love it. So, but uh, anyway, okay, I love you, sweetheart, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.